Hey guys, Meg Brunson here. So today I wanted to talk about how to ensure that your Facebook news feed does not have any negativity. So it's one of my biggest pet peeves when I hear people say like, oh, I need a break from Facebook or oh, I'm going to you know take a break from Facebook because everything is so negative. The truth of the matter is that you control the emotions behind your news feed and I'm gonna show you how. So I'm going to quickly share my screen so that I can demonstrate um, some quick and easy steps to ensure that your news feed does not have any negativity. So of course, I have no idea what you're about to see in my timeline. So, <laughs> so this is gonna be an experience for both of us. So when you're scrolling through, I'm gonna look for a post. So here is a post um, from somebody who I'm friends with, and let's just pretend that this was some like awful political message right here. I mean, it probably is. She was feeding her kid chicken dinner. That's pretty awful. Um, so we're a week away from the elections, and things are getting pretty heated. So your options, what you're gonna do is click on these three little dots at the corner there, and it's gonna expand this menu. From here, you've got a couple options. If the post is really bad, like it violates community standards or policies, let's say she's you know, throwing out racial slurs or she's making threats, you can give feedback on that post and tell Facebook that there are some of this like, some of these really negative things happening. It's spam, it's inappropriate content, hate speech, terrorism. So definitely if, if there's anything like super serious, report it. Like it says, if somebody's in immediate danger, call local emergency services. Um, but you can go ahead and report it that way if it warrants that type of action. Now, if it doesn't, you've got a couple options in here. Now, you could just unfriend her right? Like you could go to her profile or even hover over her name here and then decide that you want to unfriend her. Like it's just too much chicken the day after Halloween, too much, not friends anymore. Or you could come in here and unfollow her. And what that means is that you're going to stay friends. So she'll never know, but you just don't want to see her post in your newsfeed anymore. So I do this sometimes for people who you know, we're friends and we're always gonna be friends or we're family, even stickier, but we disagree on how to use social media. So if they're constantly posting negativity, I don't have time for negativity in my life, I will unfollow that person. Now this is interesting, you can also snooze them for 30 days. So let's say this is just a political rant and I know that elections are next week, I could choose to snooze her for 30 days and then a month down the road, She'll come out of that um, temporary ban, and I'll start seeing her content again right around Thanksgiving and Christmas so that I won't miss her Christmas photos and things like that. So that's totally another option if you think that your friend's content is only a temporary um, annoyance for, for your viewing pleasure. So those are the three major options. You can also hide the post. Oops, I didn't really want to do that. Um, which would just hide this post and show fewer posts like this. That's a little fluffy for me, so I don't typically use that. I'll typically choose to either unfollow, unfriend, or snooze, depending upon the severity of the content that she has posted on the newsfeed. So what I've done is I've gone through and I have removed um, or unfollowed people who are consistently posting things that go against what I want to see on the platform. It makes my experience on Facebook more positive. I'm removing some of that negative self-talk from my life. And I feel like it's, uh, it's just improving the user experience. So instead of feeling like Facebook is a negative place, feel empowered that you actually can control what you're seeing at any time with a couple clicks of the button. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.